Hey, this is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brief intro on how Lifter LMS memberships work. So I went in a little while ago and created this membership, or I guess I created this um, a while back. But um, so we have a membership here going, and what Lifter LMS memberships allow you to do is restrict courses, uh, pages, and posts by membership enrollment. So only people enrolled in a specific membership can access that page, post, or course. So it works the same on courses, pages, and posts. So I'll just go into a page as an example. So we can go to any page here. I'll just do the about page, for example. Now we can see this membership access on the document settings for the page, and we can check this on, and then select a membership to restrict this page by. So only people in the uh, membership title will be able to access this page. And it works the same way for courses and posts, but you can see here, uh, anyone enrolled in the membership will be able to access this page, but otherwise they will have a restricted message or be redirected. So. Um, and what you're going to want to do from here is create a membership access plan so that people can enroll in the membership and get the content from there. That's some things. That's one thing that some people get confused on with Lifter is that they will confuse. Do they need a course access plan if they have a membership access plan? And you don't need any course access plans if you're using the membership auto enrollment settings. And whenever somebody buys a membership, they're auto enrolled in specific courses, and those courses are also restricted to the membership. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Feel free to leave any suggestions for videos you want to see in the future down in the comments below. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.